you know, they didn't address the backstage incident, the fact that any of these members involved will be suspended. None of that has been said as of right now. All we know is that the championships have been vacated and that Punk was hurt anyway. So even if he wasn't suspended, he would probably still have to give up the championship. So um, your thoughts on where we go from here as far as the people involved and the consequences they may face? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it probably left more questions. Like you said, for the casual person, they probably were like, what the hell is going on? Uh, like you said, I, I, I don't know how many casual viewers there really are of AEW. I, just, I feel like like Punk, like Punk, we've said this for a while too, and Punk said it too, like they have a very niche audience. It's just, it is, they're like the Ring of Honor, like just wrestling crowd. Like it just, they're pretty dedicated, they're very dedicated, which I can give them a lot of credit on. Um, but they just don't really have that many casual fans. So everyone, obviously, most people watching knew what the hell was going on. Um, I mean, trios titles, I just, now that they're not on the Elite, I, I, I doubt they'll be on the show at all. I mean, I, I like the Death Triangle, but whatever. And then the, ti- the the World Championship, I mean, realistically, if they really want, they could have said Punk had got hurt. Like, they don't have to acknowledge the fight, but, like, it's being acknowledged and reported that he got hurt. So it's like, oh... Sam Punk got injured in the match for Sean Mox, so he's going to have to vacate the belt. And like I said, and then obviously if other things come out, then yeah, like, oh, also there's, like, whatever. But, like, they should have at least acknowledged that he was hurt because, like you said, even if there wasn't a fight, he would have to get rid of the belt because I saw Meltzer said he was going to be out for, like, eight months with, a, with an injury. So, I mean, they should have at least not acknowledged the injury and they could have just played off that. Like, like you said, even if a casual fan's like, oh, Sam Punk got hurt. Oh, okay, whatever. But then the whole tournament, I mean, you said this on text last night. I couldn't agree. There's a tournament every week. I just don't care. The no. whole thing could have been set up perfectly to MJ Evers Mockley at Grand Slam. Yeah, I don't really see the need in dragging this out. I know the tournament culminates at Grand Slam, probably with Moxley versus Danielson in a rematch from Revolution. Um, Danielson advanced last night. It's Darby Allen and Sammy on Friday for the fourth time. I could honestly give two shits. I mean, they have great chemistry, but Darby Allen has meant, honestly, honestly, really nothing all year. He, he has meant jack shit all year. He won a six-man on Sunday. Awesome. He won a six-man at Forbidden Door. Cool. He won a six-man at Revolution. Cool. When is he going to win something of note? And I'm sure he's going to win Friday against the guy who means even less. I mean, oh my god, the amount of people that had responded to my tweet about Sammy being in that tournament over someone like a powerhouse Hobbs. Oh, Powerhouse Hobbs isn't a champion. No shit, he wouldn't be in it. No fucking shit I can read. No shit. But I had to offer a correction in in the thread on that tweet saying, listen, I understand that Hobbs is not a champion. I get it. It's for all champions. What I'm trying to say is, is that I know this is a tournament for all champions, which, by the way, it's a stretch because they were like, oh, they're all former champions. Danielson has never won a single championship in this company. Okay, so what's the criteria? That he won titles in WWE and Ring of Honor? Okay, then that opens it up to the entire roster at that point. And also, Miro. Why is Sammy in there over Miro? Miro, to me, is more relevant than fucking Sammy Guevara, who's one half of AAA mixed tag team titles that mean absolutely nothing. I mean, the fact that he's even in there. Oh, but you can't have him lose. Okay, yeah, it makes sense from a booking standpoint. But then why... I don't know, dude. I just think the whole thing is dumb. You, you abs- n- None of this shit like... Listen, I'm the first one to agree. Oh, you don't want to have this person in there. You don't want to have them lose. Dude, I'm sorry. You could easily, easily, easily have Powerhouse Hobbs in there and just have him lose by count out. That's it. Why is Sammy even fucking in there? Oh, because he could take the loss? That devalues the entire tournament. That's like when WWE does number one contenders matches, like we saw on Monday's Raw, and I know why they did it, because they had Braun Strowman come back, which we'll talk about later. But why the fuck is, like, the New Day in the match when the Viking Raiders... I'm talking logically here. The New Day are in the match for what reason? They lost the Viking Raiders last week on SmackDown. Yeah, from a booking standpoint, they were in there to get beat up by Braun Strowman. But if we're booking, like, logically, then why would they even be in there? And I ask myself these questions a lot with both companies, but a lot lately with AEW as far as why are they doing that? And that was one of those cases. Why the fuck is he even in there? I think the entire tournament, I'm sorry. Oh, Danielson and Page was a good match. I don't give a shit. They have good wrestling every single week. I'm done with the... I I feel like the bar has been raised to the point where I don't give a fuck about the show having good matches. I think that's great. It makes the show more enjoyable. I want more stories. Last night's show felt like a reset show to me as far as we need to go from... We need to start from the bottom, work our way to the top as far as, you know, we're starting from scratch. These people were suspended. These titles are vacant. Go out there and just make the best of a bad situation, which I'll get to in a second. 
But I don't know, man. The whole tournament was a joke because if we're still headed to MJF and Moxley, are you telling me, Mr. Marceau, they're going to have Moxley win the whole thing, which I'm not saying he shouldn't. I mean, the guy's a prime employee for the most part. We talked about this before. Aside from the GCW crap, um, I think he's a great representation for this company because he doesn't talk shit. He's always on time. He took himself off the road last year when he had an issue, which I thought was very commendable. But you're going to give him the championship for a third time only to have him lose it to MJF at what? Full gear? I mean, honestly, at this point, just give MJF the title. I know it kind of takes away from the whole title win, but if he's if he's the number one contender, and again, I also tweeted this, and people have no reading comprehension skills. They were like, oh, he's he has a title shot. Why would he be in the tournament? I'm, what I'm asking is, why would he even be... Why would, why would he not even be automatically in the finals, or why would he not be automatically given the championship if he won the number one contendership on Sunday? I mean, a lot of questions there, Mr. Marceau, but none of this really makes a lot of sense to me. No, I completely agree. I think the whole tournament itself is dumb. Um, like I said, MGF won the belt, won the title chip, or whatever they want to call it. That should just put him in the finals. If anything, he should just automatically be in the finals. They could do him and Moxley, and he beats Moxley at Grand Slam. I just, I, I or they could have just done him and Moxley at Grand Slam just straight up. I mean, you didn't need to do a tournament. I mean, I feel like they do these tournaments, honestly, to like, to like make buzz on the show. Like, oh, it's a tournament match. I mean, can't, like, we know where it's going. It's going to be Moxley at the end. It has to be. And then he's going to lose the belt to MJF when they should just do him and MJF at Grand Slam. And Sammy Guevara being in it, I don't care. It's former champions. So like you said, Brian's never won a belt in AEW. So at that point, we're just saying former champions. I bet I could have won a championship in my local fucking promotion. Can I be in the tournament? <laughs> like, yeah. I just feel like the whole, oh, everyone's a champion makes it more special. But we've seen all these people like wrestle all the time. And Sammy Guevara is, like you said, so irrelevant right now. This, like, why is a Warlow in it? Warlow's champion right now. No, but he's going to yell at the crowd that don't be coming back on my train when I start winning. Yeah, you're on TV every week being job guys. No one cares. Yeah, I no, feel bad yeah. for Warlow, but like his promo after his match like made no sense. Like People are doubting me and want me to be booked better. Well, yeah, no shit. No one wants you to fucking beat Tony Nese and Mark Sterling every week. Who gives a fuck? Oh, no, 100%. No, I like the fact that he addressed it, but, I mean, it's not the fans' fault. I mean, with, with the wrestlers and with the companies, it's always the fans' fault, and sometimes it is. I mean, there's a lot of dumb fans out there, but in this case, it's it's the booking. I mean, he should be in there. I mean, honestly, I would have rather seen... I know you can't. It, it's hard to do with MGF waiting in the balance, and you're going to give him the championship ultimately anyway. I understand that. The way this all played out was just a fucking mess. But I would have rather seen, yeah, okay, former champions, that makes him more special. <laughs> I, I guess. I mean, but the thing is, I would have rather seen is do a fresh face tournament, a breakout tournament like we see in NXT, like we've seen, I've seen in Ring of Honor before. They call it the top prospect tournament. Do something like that with people who have never won a world championship in this company. I don't care about Sammy Guevara, but you could put Darby Allen in there. But I want people that we have not seen featured consistently on the show for three years now. Sammy, Darby, those guys have been here since day one. God bless Brian Danielson. But I'm talking, I want more of Hobbs. I want Ricky Starks. That should have been a first-round match. Where is Mira? Why isn't Wardlow in there? I mean, you could even put Jungle Boy in there. People like, I mean, he's one of those people that's been there for a long time, too. But I want the fresher faces, dude. Where are the people that we're not really seeing a lot of? Even Claudio. I mean, he's been in w, he was in WWE for a decade. But at least he's a guy that we really haven't seen a lot of in AEW, he's a, is he not a world champion? I mean, they don't want to have him lose in the bracket, I guess, but I mean, I, I don't know. That's just, the whole idea of a tournament to me makes no sense because like you said, we see tournaments every fucking week. They just wrapped up a tournament at all out for the trios titles. We had the TBS title tournament earlier this year. They did an all Atlantic championship tournament heading into Forbidden Door. They did two tournaments. I was going to say heading into double or nothing, not one, but two tournaments simultaneously for the Owen Hart cups that we've not seen since. That was a complete waste of time other than just promoting the Owen Hart foundation, which was great, but winning those things. I mean, Cole's not even on the show. Why would you have Cole turn on the Bucks logically if he's not going to be on the show since then? Where the fuck is he? Man, man, I, I don't know what's going on over there right now. I mean, I just feel like Tony Khan, I'm still at that point where I don't completely... That goodwill is still there to an extent, but to me, it's hanging on by a thread. 